Now this video clip is very short and just gives teachers an idea of what the CAPS require for senior phase life orientation. And it really is just touching on the basic fundamentals. So the first thing to remember is there are five sections to life orientation in senior phase. And each of these sections require different knowledge and skills from the learners. So if we look at this development of self in society, constitutional rights and responsibilities, health, social and environmental responsibility, world of work, and then of course the physical education component. And all of this has to be done in two hours per week. So the key aspect of life orientation is actually the distribution of time because time is tight. And if you have a look at this table here, it gives you the breakdown of each grade and how much time we should be spending on each of the sections in life orientation. So you'll see it sli differs slightly between the different grades, but it also gives an idea of how much time we should be spending on assessment and then of course the total hours. Now let's have a look at the breakdown of assessment and this is the same for grades 7, 8 and 9. So in term 1, the learners are required to do a written task which counts 70% of their final marks for Term 1, and then a physical education task, which counts 30%. These two together count 100%. In Term 2, there's a mid-year exam, which counts 70%, and your physical education task, once again, that counts 30% towards your 100% of Term 2's results. In Term 3, the learners do a project. They don't do a test or an exam, and this project counts 70% and your physical education task counting 30%, together making up 100%. Term 4, you've got your end of year exam, once again counting 70% weighting, whereas your physical education task once again counts 30%. Now what's interesting to note is the exam includes topics from terms 1, 2, 3 and 4, whereas your physical education task is only a top topics from term 4. Now together, these all make up your final year mark or your progression promotion mark. And that includes 100 marks from term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4 each. Those 400 marks make up the 100% for your final weighting for your progression and promotion. And of course then that percentage then gets converted to a code. Now what are the key things that life orientation teachers should be aware of when planning for the subject? Well the first is the idea of life orientation is to develop potential in the learners and it should be potential in their physical, intellectual, personal, emotional and social aspects of their lives. So make sure that when you're planning that all these aspects are being developed. Life orientation has been allocated 80 hours of contact time. So within these 80 hours 35 are allocated to physical education. So there's a strong emphasis on getting the kids more physical and getting them to move and become a little bit more healthy. In actual fact, physical education should actually appear on, its, on the school timetable as a class of its own or a lesson in its, of its own. So please make sure that when you're planning your lessons for life orientation, that you're aware of the different aspects and the different potentials within the learners that you, we should be developing. 